Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's live. Today we are looking for a pullback in Nifty to go short, and we are already entered Infosys short. Good morning, Kunal. Okay. Good morning, Anil. Welcome. So far, what Nifty has done is it opened near our second target of short and sorry, first target of short, and it has moved up to 24, 521. Nice. Market is heavily oversold. Uh, does that guarantee a rally? No, it doesn't. So, for example, now it has hit our resistance here, right? So we need to. Ideal place to short is around 24,581 if it comes there. That's why I'm a little bit hesitant to go short here. If Infi is a super sell. So why Infi sell? I'll explain. So we can see how Nifty has broken down from this uh, rectangle, right? So this particular candle on the 21st, it initiated the breakdown. Then yesterday, this candle was retested. This breakdown was retested, and we got an inverted hammer or a shooting star from that level. And today, when it came to the resistance area of 1860, I entered the put option, and we are holding it now. Uh, let's see where it goes. The minimum target I see is 1840, and below that, around 1820, 1800. So those are the targets. Finish, finish. So I will take a risk below this pivot which has formed 24, 442, 4, 24, 367, 24, 320. If it's consolidates too much, then I don't want it. The next two candles, if it breaks, then I'm interested. Stop. So let's look at the stop. So for now, the stop is at 1863.2, which is closer to the day's high. And in options, it will be 19 rupees on five minute close. Hope that's clear. Enough. So Nifty is struggling at yesterday's close area. That's why I'm interested in this pivot break shot. Middle of 442. Stop loss is days high. It's a risky trade. Uh, don't follow. If you're following, please follow risk management thoroughly. So I'll be trading in 24400 B. Okay, entered. Not yet filled. This is the 89. Let me make the market. So since this is in the direction of the trend, I would look for 50% target at least. My entry is 90, 135 is my target. One and eight, oh, this might actually double. So 135 will book half and let's see what happens to the rest. Let's come to a support level again at 24,421. 111, option has moved to. Maybe we can look for a trailing stop for this now. So it's closest we are getting is around 95, which is anyway near our entry. So entry can be the stop, trailing stop. We don't need to optimize that right now. In has started its fall, I think. 24,400 is being broken. Huh? What did you say? Yes, yeah. we can see this is our... Uh, can be a potential target for uh, infi, but if I go back to daily chart of infi, you can see that yesterday was an inside wash, right? So whatever this range is, which is around 61 points, we can expect from, so which takes it up to 13, 1780, sorry. But probably it will take support at this. If this support breaks, then we can expect it to fall up to 1825 and then 1800 and 1780. So 1780 being the potential target if there is a big fall. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Please do keep booking profits because market can just shoot up suddenly. We don't want to be caught. Or please keep your stop at entry for sure. No loss in this NFT trade now. It's, it's difficult to trade on such fall days because of the rapid pullback that can happen. Then we have to follow our money management rules, risk management rules, and we can re-enter always. Okay, I exited fully. Looks like it is going to hold the 421 support. So let's create some plan for let me check open interest as well. Daddy, I want to go on that, but I think it's huh? yes. Yes, I'm, I have to take a five minute break. I'll be back in five minutes. Sorry about this. So once this cross thread candle high is crossed, we can take a risk for long for 24 581. Hello, 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 everyone. So I hope uh, people uh, all of it took long and uh, having fun in uh, 24500 CSU. Nifty looks like it's going to trigger stop loss. Let's see. 24522 is our resistance level. So market will pause there. This formation is indication of a bullish sign. Now, if it comes all the way down and cuts our stop loss on this, then uh, bye bye trading closed for today. That means the market uh, is in a position where we don't understand it, then we don't trade it. So that's the only thing. So this is the resistance area for the call on 190 after the current one is 192 to 205. 24,652 is the potential retracement that we can have. I think uh, the members will know why in the educational video that I shared. So that's the potential target. Okay, Nifty when near stop loss, but didn't trigger it. It's coming back. That's good, uh, good news. Look at this trend line. Let's see what Paytm is up to. Four percent. Do we have an opportunity here? No, not really. If trying very hard to break our resistance of five twenty one, uh, if this is turning out to be a tricky area. I think it will get crossed. It should. Let's see. And in fee is going to trigger our stop loss. It is nineteen rupees five minute close. If it is crossing and trading about eighteen sixty three, also we can do it. So this high. What is this? Eighteen sixty four. It's probably where it will reverse from. Let's see. All the Bajaj stocks are up. Yeah, so we are out of uh, Inti. So Nifty has done the Ulta. Sorry, Inti has done the Ulta. But still, I don't want to go long in the stock. Let's see what it does around 1868, 1870 levels. Maybe we get another opportunity. Let's see. A call option should rock. We can easily get tablets for option. Yeah. So 205 and 235 are the targets. And 200, not 230, 235, yes. 157, rocking. So current status update is first rate, little profit, but mostly if you are in book partial profit, then it is uh, cost, audit cost, second trade in fee put loss of six rupees and well, six points, not rupees. Third trade is nifty call option. I'm not sure what price you entered, so I'm not going to the price or the delta. Hey, let's see if it goes to 24,550. So we are looking for market to head to 24,581 is our next target. So that's where we'll book the first profit. 581 to 600 area will be very huge resistance. 24,662 is the ultimate retracement for this wave. Let's see what was the 50% of the fall. So 50% of the fall is at 24,630, right? So, and if I consider from top, it's at 24,678. So 24,630, 24,678 are the potential zones where which we will initiate a positional sell after price confirmation. We don't do anything blindly. 
So Infias reached 25, 7, 1870. So let's look for reversal from here. Okay, it so looks like it's making another reversal. So, so that's it for Nifty trading. We're closing Nifty trading for today. If this gets stop loss hit, so this is exactly what we expected to see. Now, what we want to see is we want it to come and test this 1863 level and then fail. That will get us our entry. So, Nifty um, exiting. There's no point in Nifty. No. Because the premiums are fluctuating so much, it's not possible to trade. I think in P we should go to 1860 now. So it has found the bearish engulfing. And if Nifty decides to go in a range of, let's say, 1871 to 1865 for the next half an hour, let's say, then it can potentially become bullish. Otherwise, I expect this to break down. Sometimes it happens that it will just trigger our stop loss and then create another opportunity, which is one more wonderful than the original trade. So I don't, I when trade hits stop loss, I always keep that stock close to myself. So I'm... I bought some Nifty puts also just for the heck of it. I think it's, it's resembling the yesterday's chat pattern. I'll just exit in, I'll job it and exit it. Don't follow this. And that's what I thought. So it's a fight for 10 MA going on. Also, this line which is got violated in the last candle, but looks like it's not able to close above that. Didn't exactly close above that. So this trend line and the tenor may are the resistances for nifty apart from of course our 521 level so in p we want this candle to close red in 15 minute time frame uh, see it has tested the 1863 level which is what we wanted it to do right now this will tell us this is a supply so this will tell us now whether this guy is gonna sustain this or fall as of now it looks like it will reverse it's almost made a gravestone doji so i'll be trading this with 1860 this time so again i'm shorting below 1851 sorry 1862 stop loss of 1871 if it doesn't break it doesn't break can't help it the fight for 2500 who is winning we seem to be heading to 24 600 levels near 2500 so that's what i can see currently so a rolling wave candle has come so which is what we were looking for when we wanted a stop loss so actually there are two rolling wave candles now that's amazing so that means what does this mean is this this zone of 24 479 to 24 450 and this 20 point range will become super support for nifty and 24 554 range uh, will be the resistance so, but about 24 554 50 high 527 again so 521 level is uh, acting like a big speed bump to cross it okay friends so the time has exceeded so let's uh, let me tell you the strategy if you want to trade so wait 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 for nifty to come to 25 600 odd levels before my gut tells me so maybe it will go here and then come back here so th this is one trade that we can look for Around from around 25, uh, sorry, 24, 595 or 25, 24, 600 levels, uh, short to 25, 24, 521, right? So this 80 point will give us 30 points in option. That's more than enough. That's one possibility. Second possibility is this becomes a bearish reversal from here, right? For that, we need a great red candle. Uh, and then when it cuts this low, we can initiate a short with the high, but the stop loss becomes too far. So we have to wait for the next uh, pullback to short. So that's complicated. So that's why I'm saying today might be a complicated day to trade. So better to stay away if possible. Catching the pullback up is always very difficult because this is what happens. Yes. So I would wait for the opportunity to come to take a shot, but mostly it's going to be a useless day. Only option is if it opens downwards, I mean, opens downward targets. I'm expecting a pullback tomorrow, not today, but looks like it has come early. So good luck, friends. Uh, not such a good day for us. Uh, in fee trade really didn't go the way that I expected. Uh, Nifty almost break even types. So you know, slight profit in Nifty. Happens. It happens. We have to be prepared to take losses also. 
so hoping for a better day tomorrow chalo i will see guys now tomorrow day after tomorrow we should get a nice pullback where we can enter the position short so till then uh, just leave it now so that's okay we will make this money uh, tomorrow or day after for sure so when we make we make huge so we know that right so that's okay so let's uh, meet tomorrow then thank you so much for showing up and uh, supporting and thank you very much for your time i'll see you guys bye bye